Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're in the world of Medieval Engineers, and I've been experimenting around with a little bit of a game mode. Now we're here in a small logging camp located in this really mysterious and quite creepy forest, and we've got some logs that we've been working on, and I've been cutting some lumber down and some different things, but I've been messing around with this game mode maybe. We've got barbarians out there. And the idea of this little mission, you could say, is to protect the peasants that are harboured within the logging house, as well as protect the statue. But at the same time, you've got to chop logs and load them into this car. Now, originally I thought it'd be really easy, and I started chopping down some logs, and suddenly, one by one, they started actually sneaking up on me. These barbarians and either break into the back of the hut and start to kill the peasants, and even one of them managed to infiltrate and destroy the actual statue right behind my back as I was working. It's just really creepy as they emerge out of the fog, screaming, and you just have to stutter to suddenly grab a weapon and take these guys down because before they cause any damage. But I'll show you some of the footage that I got before. Right, so we're going to start by actually loading some logs, I think, onto this car here. We've just got to keep our eye out around us in case any of these bar barbarians are actually going to try to sneak up on us and try to destroy the hut or the statue itself. All right, we'll pick up one of these. Let's try to grab him one again. There we go. And we'll load it onto the car. So we'll get up close to it, and then I think we just need to throw it over. Damn it. Shit, who's that? Oh, my God. Get back. Oh, this is what I mean about it. it's being really hard, right? There's one down. Oh, no, he's just pushed the car into the bloody statue. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> this is really hard. I need a better weapon. Um, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. No, he's going for the actual peasants. <laughs> right, there's one down. They've came in a wave. Why did they come in a wave? Right, okay, that's three down. And I think we're clear. <laughs> but did you see that? They, fr they threw the car into the statue and took it down that way. Oh, my God. That was unexpected. Right, we're just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to repair the car or try something. <laughs> I can't believe that the peasants are all okay in here. One got very close, as you can see. Everyone's fine in here, working away, just standing around, worrying, looking out the windows as I'm defending them from attack. Let's equip a better weapon than the hammer. We're going to need the axe, I think. We'll also get the mace out, just in case, so we can defend away. I don't, the waves are totally random, see, and they, they just sneak up on you like that due to the fog. You just hear a scream around you in the next minute. There's one right on top here. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work and try to sort this mess out. So we've just had a little bit of a close encounter. The barbarians seem to have run off some way in that direction. They didn't actually come and attack the village at this point. I don't know if that's because the statue's down or they didn't. They just didn't see us. So I'm going to try to continue chopping some of these trees down and get them operational. Keeping my eyes out. It's just like being alone in the woods in some horrible horror game. Sunlight's coming up shortly so it should be a little bit easier to see within the forest. Alright, chop that down. Try to get another log out of this before we move it. There's two logs gone. No one out there. Right, we should be fine. Yeah, we'll move this log. We'll pick up that now. Okay, tools. There we go. Grab that. Grab this log. And we'll just rotate it around and drop it on the pile here. Got quite a few logs added to that pile since last time. Not bad at all. So we've restarted the world again since the king statue fell in quite a comedy way. I think I'm going to move that car away straight away this time so that doesn't actually happen. We've got two logs in there that I've just loaded in and it's probably a matter of time. Sunlight is coming up a little bit faster this time so it should be daylight very shortly. Anyway, wish me the best of luck. I'm going to get some axing done, get some of these trees down and hopefully we don't have too many situations. <gasps> no, no, don't fall on the log pile. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're, we're, we're fine, we're fine. So surprisingly, we've actually managed to survive a, almost a whole day until these barbarians started attacking again. And they seem like they're going for the hut first. Oh no, we've got to stop them at the statue. Hold on. There's one down, there's one, two down. We've got two stuck behind this pillar. So that shouldn't really be a problem. Easy kill. Easy kill. Oh no! Bloody barbarian. There we go. Right, looks like we've suffered some damage to the hut. Seems like these ro these blocks have rotated and actually damaged all the peasants are alive. So I've just been assessing the damage on the house once again, and there's more of them coming out the forest. So we're going to have to try to deal with these guys as pretty fast as possible, hopefully. There we go. We've got to watch out for the ones that might navigate and circumvent us to the statue itself. Looks like they're actually going for the peasants. So we don't have to go for him quickly. Right, there we go, he's down. I think we've got one more in here. He's trying to break through the window. 
Very well indeed. We got them. Peasants are still alive. The house is not doing too well. Statue's still up. This round's a little bit more dense. Looks like we've got little clusters of them coming in from the sides. Alright, so we're just going to rebuild this house a little bit. I'm going to try to get some blocks a bit. No, oh, Jesus. Right, we've got the hammer ready. They're just running out of the forest crazily. Okay, let's deal with these. Give these a good swing. That's two down. So three. Get this guy before he gets to the statue. And no, 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 no! Oh my god, that was lucky. We saved that one very close by. <laughs> it's King Statue nearly had it in then. All peasants are accounted for. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Shouldn't be having any problems in here. Fireplace is still working, even though it's burned a hole in the back of the building. And we've got the peasants that are in the sleeping areas here. Absolutely perfect. These, these these larger waves are the ones that are causing the problems. The smaller ones where they're just on their own are just like real easy. I just knock them over the head with a hammer and I'm pretty much off I go. Let's have a go at that. Let's see if we can knock a tree down on him. Alright, swing that there. Swing. Oh, we've hit him. Too late. There we go. Bury him under that. <gasps> no, not the king statue! Oh, jeez. I'm rubbish with these trees. Every time I bring a tree down, it nearly takes out a hut. Oh, the statue itself. That was just meters away, that. Maybe if we put that there, it can act as a little bit of a blockade for any of these more barbarians that are coming through. So for this final test, what I wanted to actually see was what the barbarians did if I didn't stop them. To see if they actually went for the peasants, or they got stuck on each other, or got stuck on boxes and stuff. And it seems like I, I seem to be their primary target that they want to focus on. Ow! My health is low. We'll get inside here and see if they attack into the hut. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, oh, he's come right in! He's come right in! Hey, mate. <laughs> oh, they're breaking the stuff down. This is really cool. That guy's gone right inside. Yeah, if you, I can imagine this with a few more barbarians, like maybe 10 or 15, how hard this game mode would be. It's going to have to be something I, I play again when there's some more people. But for the moment, you can just see how it's in experimental stages as they're trying to break into the hut from almost every direction. <gasps> that guy's going for the king statue. Let's deserve some justice. Since it's just one shot on these barbarians at the moment, it is quite easy, as I say that, as I take a critical hit. He's trying to break in there, but he doesn't notice I'm behind him. We'll give him a good swing from behind. Knock him into the wall. There we go. Has got anyone else out here? Have they all managed to pass themselves? Expire. No, oh, there we go. Well, that's what's left of the hut. And the King Statue this time has managed to survive, unlike the first attempt where they managed to ram it straight into the castle. Now, this game mode idea is, would be so much better with a few more barbarians, especially if they grouped them up when they sent them in. You can see, like, this is just, there's just one men, like, sort of little waves coming in, like this, every now and then. <gasps> what happened to that log? Oh, we got give him a good kick in. There we go, before he gets to that King Statue. There he's down. So you can see there's these one waves that I've not really shown you too much of today. I've just shown you when they've either bunched together or have spawned a few in in a little bit of an attack group. But maybe in the future there'll be a way of spawning barbarians in like little hordes to attack villages and different settlements like that. But anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it's inspired maybe a few different game mode ideas. And I'll see you next time.